Chapter 13 The Hindu Yogi's Rules for Attaining Health, Wealth, and Happiness, or How to Banish Disease and Abolish Poverty. The Hindu Yogi is a seer or sage who, by deep and long meditation, prayer, study of man and the universe, at last reaches illumination or wisdom, whereby he thoroughly understands the many perplexing problems of life and can solve them. This planet has now reached that stage of evolution where its highest order of inhabitants are beginning to awake to a realization of their wonderful greatness. The ignorance and darkness of the past ages is being dissipated by the light of truth, modern thought. False Teaching, Cause of Woe and Misery For thousands of years, man has been ruled and governed by much false teaching. He has been told that he is a miserable worm and been made a weakling and an errant coward by the fear of punishment by a wrathful and angry God who ever sits in judgment on his every act. With such teachings and such a God, he could make little progress because fear is always weakening and never inspires hope or courage. The yogis who are the greatest lovers and worshipers of God in the world say that the great ruler of this universe is all mercy, all love, all helping, and never punishes, that a man is all powerful, all forceful, and not limited, that all are one. All that a man has got to do is to realize what a great and powerful being he is and then he can accomplish anything he desires. The Real and the Apparent Man What is that, knowing which, everything else is to be known? This is the one theme that the yogi dwells upon, and as thought can, by persistent concentration, solve the deepest problems, we eventually arrive at the truth of what the real man is and his purpose here. We find that man's goal is knowledge, wisdom, and freedom from all bondage, that he is an eternal soul with all possibilities, that he can control all the powers and forces in the universe for his own good, for health, for wealth, and happiness. To reach the highest degree of attainment or success, he must stop thinking fear, doubt, disease, failure, disaster, and that sort of thing. Man, therefore, according to our philosophy, is the greatest being that is in the universe, and this earth, the best place. Because here is the greatest chance, the only chance to become perfect. So we always strive to improve your mind, your body, your material wealth, and your environment. Be cheerful and happy, and let God take care of the rest. When you can learn to think this way, you will be the real God-man, and the apparent man or shadow will vanish forever. You are then at one with the Great One, and all force and power is yours. How the Divas, Angels Can Help Us Countless angels or spirits are ever ready to help the real man, the brave, bold, true, and courageous man, and do help him in a way that it would be hard to explain in a book of this scope and to the ordinary mind. All humanity is being helped all the time by these great souls, who do not live in a gross body like ours. To get their best help, one must be kind, gentle, calm, and free from anger or hatred. That is the reason you will always see that all great men and women have full and complete control of themselves and are invariably mild, kind, and gentle people. You have no idea how much good you lose when you lose control of your temper or passion. Marriage brings success. Look about you and on every hand you will observe that all about all the men and women who reach great success have a partner, a wife, or husband. God has always commanded man to marry and bring into the world children. In selecting a wife or husband, be careful to take a person on the same social plane as yourself. About women. The yogis have the very highest respect and the purest love for women. We know that woman is a finer organization than man, and in India you never hear the Hindus of culture or refinement ever refer to women as the weaker vessel. 
man to reach his highest development must look up to women the mother of creation and love her with the highest and purest love and respect her with the highest respect no man can become great until he has this respect for women women is the finer vessel and not the weaker vessel occult science in this wonderful and progressive age men and women are discovering that the study of occult science and metaphysics is of great advantage to them the occult or secret powers and forces can only come to us by and through certain studies of this nature the reading of books on astrology mental science mind reading telepathy opens the mind to new and fresh thought which is very helpful and inspiring power of prayer prayers when uttered in the right spirit and which are not made with mean or selfish motives are always answered if at any time you are in great distress of mind or burdened with troubles which seem too great to overcome if you will go off to some quiet place and open your heart and mind to god asking for light direction or relief he will answer your prayer surely or maybe some of the divas angels will hear your appeal and come and soothe you and give you gentle thoughts which will help you the prayer of the yogi is always for light direction and love and is answered don't worry the strong and great man is the calm cool collected man who holds his temper who doesn't worry or hurry or get rattled no matter whether things go against him or with him he is a giant of patience strength and force such a soul has strength and force to do things to keep itself in the very middle of the current of success health and happiness by its magnificence and greatness it attracts all the good elements and forces of the universe to its aid it aspires to be good and great and aspires all persons with love admiration and confidence and right here let me quote a great scientist who says if the blood is not right the brain cannot be for it can only be nourished by good blood the chief enemies of the brain are worry which disorganizes the human machinery shock which paralyzes the brain worry or excitement causes irregular nerve action we call it confusion of ideas or nervosity worry is the worst disease of the age about our troubles in trouble to be troubled is to have your trouble doubled the only way to overcome our troubles is to let them wear themselves out if you will pay no attention to them they will soon go away people worry and trouble much over troubles that do not come of the hand and weary loads neath which we bend and fall the troubles that do not come are the heaviest ones of all our thoughts make us thinking trouble brings trouble thinking good brings good we can make our life just what the mind thinks therefore how important it is for all of us to think rightly the secret of wealth we must first think wealth and then use the mind to discover the true foundation of wealth the mind in its search for the cause of wealth will soon discover that well-directed energy work is back of all wealth but along with this energy we must have faith hope and courage this is a busy world and we are living in a wonderful age of big undertakings and great progress at every hand is to be seen advancement improvement progress growth and expansion we are continually going forward onward and upward nothing stands still there is no backward movement the world is better and busier today than it was yesterday and will be better and busier tomorrow than it is today it is the calm honest thorough thoughtful and busy workers who make this condition of growth and progress not the worrying hurrying fretful gloomy morbid pessimistic minds who persist in looking at things through the wrong end of the telescope no one will be successful or feel the glorious good times which are here to stay unless he is hopeful and cheerful and willing to play the part god has assigned to him and now dear friends i have tried hard in this book to inspire you with hope and courage and i sincerely hope you will feel that we yogis dearly love you and wish you peace joy prosperity and happiness 
and in conclusion let me quote the saying of one of our brothers who is a great yogi a great soul you are all god o ye men and o ye animals and living beings ye are the manifestation of the one living god the blessed one the all in all so how can you doubt your reaching perfection May the peace and blessings of the Blessed One and all the divas, angels, and all the yogis of the universe be ever with you, my beloved sisters and brothers, is the prayer of Bhakti Siva, 22, North William Street, New York City. End of chapter 13